Hello guys, it's your buddy Bruno Tieno. And if you think I'm not your buddy, well, I really don't intend to force myself into anyone's buddies list for now. Anyway, welcome to our first tutorial in the CI series. I'll be churning out a hundred or so videos in this soft kind of voice. But if I have an extra intelligent point, believe me guys, I'll be the first to yell it out with this generous decibel kind of voice. But hey, I really don't want to go right, right there, you know. Our aim in this series is to take a full stack approach that is both front end and back end to come up with a system that is professional, secure, robust, scalable, responsive, user friendly. I mean, just talk of the qualities of a well engineered system and my work right here will be pretty simple. Just letting you know how to implement them okay so um in this series you'll learn how to integrate data tables within your application and uh, actually work with them I think of data tables as a cool platform to uh, display your records from the database Mm -hmm. Think of them as sortable. I mean, uh, you can filter your records by any column, so long as you define that in your in your codes. Okay, um, you'll get a chance to uh, know how to validate your forms using a jQuery uh, validation engine. I mean. There's no need of submitting an empty form to your database. Why would you do that in the first place? And why would you want to create a form for submitting empty data? Okay. Um, you'll as well learn how to submit your data using Ajax and jQuery. Oh, guys, this is one crazy, simple thing to do, but people always afraid to use this kind of, uh, this kind of technologies but believe me guys by the end of this tutorial um, you will know how to how to submit your data using um, Ajax how to work with jQuery I mean I think you're going to learn a lot so um, the next thing that you guys are going to learn is how to how to work with high chat or any other chatting library out here okay um i think high chat also gives you a nice uh platform to render your data in graphical graphical formats to your to your user for um extra visual expression i mean uh is somehow aesthetic and as you guys can see from the screen you can turn off whatever you feel like um turn on i mean so simple keep whatever you, you feel like keeping on the screen um so sweet and um i have to mention something about jQuery UI um, how things work so nicely in the screen but believe me guys by the time we, we're done with this series you will know how to create wonderful systems out here um, from the edge of the from the edge uh, of the screen here you can see my dashboard everything renders so nicely I've used font awesome to uh, make things come alive okay so you will know how to work with font awesome as well and um we'll be using bootstrap we'll be using bootstrap to um to style our our views if you use model model view controller you'll stop calling these things uh pages and start calling them views okay so um you know how to work with bootstrap that is to generate bootstrap classes uh, so that you can turn your 
uh, your application into other themes okay and working with this other themes means that you're going to change everything across the site um, the forms and everything which is a is pretty cool according to me okay um so why don't you go ahead and uh, grab this thing from my repository um clone it from brian Utiena, uh slash brian Utiena ci templates uh you can fork it to your repo if you feel like um or you can just go ahead and and clone it download a zip file if you're comfortable with that or just um clone it into your desktop let me show you guys how to clone so i'll go ahead and minimize all my active windows and then i'm going to run jitbash you guys can also install jitbash into your machine and the first thing that i'm going to do is to change my my directory to uh desktop okay I want to work from my desktop so um the command that i've typed after cd the symbol that i've typed after cd is called around or quadrad mamuta so um i'm going to create a folder that i'm going to clone uh, the contents of my github repo to repository to okay so um to create a folder if you're on windows just go ahead and right click on the desktop and say new folder but and then rename it to, uh, to whatever you want you want it to be but uh, for me I'm going to say uh, make directory and then the directory name I just want to give it the name of X so that alone has created for me uh, a folder on my desktop okay so I'm going to change my directory to X so CDX so I'm currently working from the direct uh, from the x directory and just to list the folder it has nothing if i list all the files in the folder it try it return nothing um maybe it will teach you how to create something in here just as a by the way you can use the touch you can use touch command touch maybe uh let me say example.txt okay and then you can list uh, you, can, you can list whatever is, is in the folder. So you see it has example.txt file which is Already here example.txt. Okay, that's the uh, that's just by the way. So um, I want you guys to switch to the X folder Or just right click if you have installed jitbash just right click on the folder and say and say uh, jitbash here you will still end up with the same thing that I've that I've this other side, but it's not necessary. So um, the next command that we're going to use to uh, clone our repo into the fo into the folder is called um, git clone. So git clone, and then let, let's let's switch back to the browser, and then we are going to copy uh, the this link here. So copy it. Just yeah, switch back here, and then um shift insert and what you're going to do press enter okay so that alone will clone our template from my github.com slash brian slash brian ci template to our desktop so as this one uh, clones i'll minimize and introduce you guys to the tools that that i'm going to use during this series um one of the requirements is to have a web server. So um, I'll go ahead and download and install WAMP server. I'm not entirely declaring that WAMP server is the best web server out here, but if you're com comfortable using any other web server, go ahead and stick to it. But if you don't have a prior knowledge working with web servers, I'd want you to stick to WAMP server uh, for the sake of um, uniformity, okay? Um, so go ahead and grab one server preferably from sourceforge.net and install it uh -huh. the next thing that you're going that you're going to install is an ide uh, an ide is an integrated development environment and 
and in this case I'm I'm going to use Aptana Studio. So go ahead and install Aptana Studio. Um, customize it to suit your OS and architecture needs. Um, and then download and inst install it. It is open source and it runs on Windows, Linux, or Mac. So go ahead and grab yourself uh, a copy of Aptana Studio and install it as well. Um, let me go back and check. Oh, finally, it's done, one hundred percent. So I'm done. I'm done downloading the template. Okay, from TNCI template. Um, before we use the template, I want you guys to understand that we're going to work with Code Igniter CI. Okay, so um, I want you guys to go ahead and download Code Igniter. Uh, the current version uh, the current current version of code igniter from codeigniter.com now get to the download section and we are currently at version 3.x so go ahead and grab yourself the latest version of ci um i already downloaded a copy and extracted it so i want you guys to move this file i mean this this folder you can rename it to anything you want like um let's say if i want this to be training let me just rename the folder to training okay and then i want to move it to my web directory if you want to know where your web directory is just start your WAMP server and um click 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 on the icon and then go to um www directory that is where your web directory is so um i'll go ahead and copy this training uh the code igniter folder that i just downloaded and renamed to training and then i'm going to paste it in my um in my web folder the active folder the active web folder okay so i have the training folder here so um to access this i'll go into my browser and then type localhost I'm sorry localhost and then slash training and then there you go guys code ignite is fully configured and it's running okay so i want you guys to go ahead and do the same for the template that we just cloned from my repo branotieno slash branotieno ci template dot git okay so um i'll just move to uh, my git bash once more or you can just unzip copy the branotieno ci template and paste it into your active web root folder that is the ww folder but for me let me just uh go ahead and say uh, list files okay i can see the ci template thing which is already here okay um so what i'm going to do is say mv that is command for move brian otieno ci template but i'm going to move it to c um wamp and then www okay sweet easy peasy okay guys that means that uh it's already been transferred it's not in the folder anymore so um i'll go ahead and uh change this from local host training to local host ryan utino c i template okay easy peasy good guys but i can see i have an error here so the next thing that i'm going to do is to use my ide let me first link the project i'm going to link my project oh guys it's kind of slow taking quite a while okay okay i'll come here down to my uh one folder and then find the ww 
folder and then promote this brand in CA template to project okay if you renamed it you can just promote whatever you renamed it to as your project okay so the error here is only variable reference should be returned by reference and the error is in core folder and the file is common.php um the core folder is in the system folder you already know so much about that so let's go ahead and access our system folder and then our core folder command.php and then um what i want you guys to do is to come to line number 257 and then okay here we are what we are going to do instead of returning this we are going to return the variable not the we are not going to re return the reference we are going to return the the variable so let's say return return the oops sorry my cursor was elsewhere return this okay return config as a variable not as a reference okay so let's navigate back to our this url and what the f so told that the page requested for was not found um i think when i what i need to do here is to um main let's just access our main controller and then say um function home And do this dashboard okay we call our dashboard and then the next thing that we're going to do is to load a view and then the view that you're going to load here is called home page okay let's see what happens here good sweet easy peasy 